Hey guys, so I was doing a time lapse yesterday while we were working on our Volkswagen and turns out I forgot to switch the settings on my DSLR to uh, a JPEG format. So it turned out that I ended up uh, shooting all these pictures as RAW. It sucks because these pictures are now really big and I'm trying to just do a quick little time lapse and it turns out, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. Uh, as quickly as I thought just because these files are like over 20 megabytes each so I need to convert very quickly um, the raw files to JPEG format I don't really care to have too much control over um, the settings so I wanted to quickly do it and I you know I was gonna do it in Photoshop but opening up Photoshop and trying to figure out the batch system turned out to be a little bit more complex than I really wanted to uh, you know, get involved with. Uh, so I quickly looked on YouTube and I found another option that I decided to go with. What is it called? It's called Rocker. It's a, it's a small little program that basically does just that with very simple options and I decided to give it a try. So I wanted to share this, I wanted to post this because I know a lot of people kind of, you know, go through that whole thing where they'll take pictures that, they're, that are way too big and they don't want to spend too much time converting these. Um, it will probably still take quite a bit of time depending on how many pictures you took. Um, for example, I took about 1,200 pictures. Um, so that's going to take quite a bit of time, um, even though as far as you know, trying to figure out the settings and all of that, it's not going to take much time. Um, I will check to see what kind of uh, settings or what kind of uh, quality I get out of these JPEGs but so far it looks like it's gonna be the easiest and simplest way to do it um, I'll show you the results as soon as I have it but it's a quick little tool that I think you guys can really take advantage of and it's it's really easy to do I'll show you the steps real quick um, how to download it install it and then get it up and running so I capture my media and I put it in a folder called Eggbus. Um, and I have my raw files here. So I have these giant 28 megabyte files, you know, each one. And, you know, QuickTime, which is what I, the program that I use to process my time lapses, uh, doesn't even read the CR2 files, which is the camera raw um, uh, files that Canon creates. Uh, so I basically needed to convert these into a JPEG format that I can use. So I did a quick search on Google and I found uh, this app called Rocker. So I went uh, to Softonic, which is a website that allows you to, uh, or that links to down to a place to you can download the software. Um, and I downloaded it from there. Once I downloaded the files, um, it downloaded with these two versions of it for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why, um, but I just went ahead and used the latest. Uh, they probably give you two versions just because maybe on some older uh, OS, you know, it might not be able to run the newest version or something. But I, I was able to run the latest, the 2.3.3. So I went ahead and opened this um, without really uh, knowing too much about it. Um, I just kind of got started. Uh, I just went to batch. The buy batch option is really what the one that I was interested in because I didn't really want to do, you know, a thousand pictures one by one. Um, so I went ahead and set uh, the source folder. So I found my source files, which were these. Um, went back to settings, batch, and uh, did the destination, which I wanted to do under edits. Um, and then I went ahead and say start batch. And that's pretty much it. So Rocker is now finished. It did about 1,167 images, six seconds per image. It took 123 minutes. So it actually took like two hours, which isn't really that fast. Um, but I didn't really have to think much about settings. It just kind of did it on its own. And uh, I came back two hours later and here it is. I have my finished pictures. So let's go ahead and quit that program. If I look inside of my uh, folder where I told it to put all the pictures, now I have a series of JPEGs that are about 4 megabytes each.
instead of 28. So now I should be able to process this as a time lapse. So this is the time lapse that I was uh, working on, that I shot yesterday. We were uh, working on this uh, 1962 BW engine. Uh, we literally took the whole engine down and put, took all the components out of it and installed them on another uh, block, another engine, put it back in the in the bus um, and got it back running. So this was the time lapse that I was shooting yesterday and that I wanted to process. I just wanted to show you guys really quick what it uh, what I was working on. All right, so there you have it. That's a quick, uh, easy way to convert your raw files from your Canon to JPEGs. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of other ways to do it. Um, if you have any suggestions, please send me a message or comment on the video below, uh, and I'll see you next time.